designed to educate and to promote the greater impact of God's mission. This is By The Way News Brief. A powerful dynamic occurs when a group or the entire congregation prays on the same things. Matthew 18, 20 reads, For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in their midst. Corporate prayer is an important part of the church that can unite us together. On Saturday, October the 16th, One For Him, formerly known as the Singles Ministry, will host a powerful prayer movement at Sagemont Cross. The location is 11300 South Houston Parkway, East Houston. The meeting time, 7 to 8 a.m. Our prayer focus will be on the church, families, the nation, COVID, and morality. If you would like to participate in this event, RSVP to Sister Lynette at LynetteValentine at Hotmail.com. As logistics are worked through, more information will be provided on how to participate via conference connection or Zoom. In the meantime, be prayerful. God will be in the midst, and our prayers will honor Him. And God said, let us make man in our image. Who is he talking to? It can't be nobody else there but the rest of the Trinity. By the way, please join Dr. Varner each Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. for the teaching of the Word. Dr. Varner can be heard on KHCB 105.7. October is Pastors Appreciation Month. By the way, let us come together, show love and appreciation to our pastor and first lady for their endless sacrifice and devotion to the church. Their call to God's work has not always been a smooth journey. The work is often intense and unpredictable. Often, a mandate is to be on call 24 hours a day. We will celebrate their 42 years of service on Sunday, October 31st at 9 a.m. in the sanctuary. We are excited to announce Reverend Hurtis Rose III will be our guest speaker. 1 Timothy 5 and 17 says, The elders who rule well consider worthy of double honor, especially those who work hard at preaching and teaching the Word of God. We are asking each adult member in each household to give as the Spirit leads you to honor Pastor Oliver Honor and First Lady Mary. Your giving can start immediately. Please label your donations, Pastor's Appreciation, on your tithes and offering envelopes so it may be allocated properly. We want to know your opinion. Yes, tell us. Is it right to kill her? He among you who is without sin, let him cast the first stone. Our reading for the month of October is John chapter 8 and chapter 9. The first part of chapter 8 highlights a woman caught in adultery. Instead of condemning the woman, Jesus posed a question to her accusers. He who is without sin among you let him be the first to throw a stone at her. Jesus reassured the woman and stated, I do not condemn you either. Go from now on and do no sin any longer. Jesus did not condone the sin, but showed grace and mercy towards the woman. God has forgiven us, so we must be careful about throwing stones. We have been given grace. Let us show grace to others. That concludes the happenings on the campus of Bible Way. I am Marvin Driver, and this has been Bible Way.